the holder of chaos. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution. When you reach the front desk, ask to see someone who calls themselves the holder of chaos. The worker will suddenly become enraged and violent, spewing threats and insanity. If you move or speak, the worker will rip you to pieces. However, if you stand your ground, the worker will calm down and ask you to follow them. The worker will take you down a winding flight of stairs, muttering under their breath. If you allow yourself to hear the words, they will render you deaf, so do your best to ignore them. The worker will open a door at the bottom of the stairs, and then close it behind you. You will find yourself on a jungle trail nearly covered by the undergrowth. You must follow this trail, for the door behind you no longer exists, and to try and flee will leave you wandering the jungle for eternity. After what may seem like a mile of walking, you will find a vast temple covered in vines and bleached white bone. A large rusty gate will slowly crank upwards, allowing you entrance into the temple's dark, damp interior. You must immediately go inside, because if you hesitate for even a moment, you'll soon realize there's a heavy, wet breathing over your shoulder. Should it be your right shoulder, then you must try to enter the temple with all haste, as the great iron gates will soon close, leaving you to the mercy of murderous fangs and hateful claws. Should it be your left shoulder, you have no hope of escape, and your soul will become the plaything of demons. If you make it inside the temple, then continue down the corridor. It will be pitch black, but do not worry, for this is the only way. However, if you turn a corner and find a lit candle illuminating two separate paths, you must quickly shut your eyes. After you hear a gust of wind, you may open your eyes, as the candle has been put out and the path fixed in a single direction once again. You will follow this path for what will seem like hours, but do not worry, for this means you have been accepted and are halfway there. Soon you will find yourself in a large room, filled with the stench of rot and death and lit by flaming braziers. Against the far wall of the room will be a grand throne, made entirely of skulls, and sitting upon the throne will be a creature made from the stuff of nightmares. At the moment it acknowledges your existence, you must fall to your knees and bow your head in unquestionable submission. You must keep your eyes to the floor directly below you, for to look upon the creature will trap you in your darkest nightmare for an eternity of suffering and torment. Now prepare your mind, for it will speak with a voice that will threaten to rip the sanity straight from your soul, should you listen too closely. It will ask, For what purpose have you come? You must reply in a voice of hatred and malice, and scream it out as though in the act of murder. I have come to claim the chaos. The creature will leave its throne, and begin to walk towards you, and one of two things will happen. If the sounds of the creature's footsteps do not change, then close your eyes and say goodbye to your loved ones, for you will surely die. If, however, the sounds slowly calm to a slow, low pace, then you may look up when the footsteps stop. You will find a small child staring down at you with deep blue eyes that seem to glow internally with a burning hate that will go unchallenged by all in history. It will take your head in its small hands and force you to stare into those murderous sockets, and if you flinch, then your head will quickly leave your shoulders. The child's face will turn serious and judgmental, and it will ask a single question. What are you when compared to chaos? The question has only one answer, and you must speak quickly, lest the child grow impatient and end you without a second thought. You must stare into the child's eyes and whisper, I am the chaos. 
In the next moment you blink, two things will happen. You will find yourself sitting upon the skull throne, and the child will be gone. The second will be the simple wooden mask in your hands. When worn, the mask will allow you to see the beauty, the perfection, and the utter necessity the world has for chaos. The mask is object 1024 of 2538. Never take it off.